Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Hearthstone Deck Tracker and OBS in combination so that you can actually show your deck in a recording or a stream uh, while you're playing Hearthstone. Now, right now, you can see that in OBS it's already showing display window over here, but that's only because I'm using display capture. The problem with display capture is that it captures everything on your desktop, including your taskbar at the bottom. That's not what we want. We want to use game capture for Hearthstone in combination with the window capture for Hearthstone Deck Tracker. But before we can add Hearthstone Deck Tracker in properly, we need to go into the settings of Hearthstone Deck Tracker. So over here, I have Hearthstone Deck Tracker. We want to click on Options. And if you don't already have Advanced Options turned on at the bottom, you have to click it. It's in the bottom left. From there, you go to Overlay Windows and Enable Player. And that's what's going to give you this little window over here. So this window is only really there so that you can add it to your stream. Uh, because by default, Hearthstone Deck Tracker will still show you your cards, but we need this separate window for the stream. So in the sources for your OBS, you want to right-click, go to Add Window Capture. You, give, you can give it a name, so I'll just call it Tracker 2. And from there, if you've done everything to this point correctly, you should see Hearthstone Deck Tracker.exe and then player on the right of that. So it's a separate window from the base Hearthstone Deck Tracker. When you add this in, you'll get basically this little pop-up window over here. So we can hit OK. Now, for most people, you're probably going to want to filter out this background. So to do that, you should right-click on Tracker, go to Filters, add in a color key. And we're going to do Custom Color, Select Color, Pick screen color, and obviously we're choosing the gray we want to remove. Um, now the background's gone. The last thing we want to do is lower down the similarity. I would say to one or somewhere around there, so that any of the colors, like the um, grayed out text for the cards, doesn't actually get removed and you can fully see the deck list. So with similarity one, we can hit close. We should be able to pop this wherever we need it in our stream. Um, if you want to remove the little header there, too, where it says player, we can crop that out by clicking on the top middle circle while holding Alt down. So Alt click, drag that down a bit, um, just to the top of the first card. And now we can put this wherever we want. It's going to have the deck without the gray background. Now you may get some minor issues still where some of the gray in the cards will be removed. So as an alternative, if you want, you could just crop the bottom out too, and not actually add in a color key effect. It's up to you how you want to do that. But that's how you add in the deck tracker window in OBS so that you can show your deck on recordings or on streams for Hearthstone. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.